another day, another grind. Welcome to this week's The Sims 4. This is Lover of Ladies, and thank you for watching this episode specifically. Appreciate all your love and support. Right now, I am watching Josephine eat her breakfast, which today is a bowl of cereal. Pretty good. And at this point, I've been trying to get the monster to come out of the bed to talk to me. But it seems like ever since, ever since Chase sprayed the monster, that little booger has never bothered to come out ever again. And I'm, at this point, I'm actually pretty concerned because the thing is, with one of my goals... I have to not only become friends with said creature, but I have to talk to this monster five times. And this is like the third episode of this specific scenario that I'm doing. And this, this monster has not showed up yet. I can try and do the, the first two, but I'm just really concerned about not being able to hit this specific goal. But you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to be optimistic still. I don't quit easily, so... Alright, so at this point, let me see here. Let's actually clean up our plates, Josephine. Come on, you know better than that. So I got two people that I am good friends with. But, I actually need to become best friends with a child sim. So, I'm going to call. And we can definitely get Olivia to hang out with us. That way, I can try and have her become my best friend. All right, cool. So Olivia is coming over, which is fantastic. At this point, I'm going to try and talk to her as much as possible. We can, like, watch TV. We can, like, play with this toy bear. Either way, I'm just trying to develop a relationship. Oh, she's here. Yo, how are you going to go to bed, bro? Wake up, bro. Josephine, wake up. Talk to your friend. Stop being mo stop being rude. Yo, she went straight to the bear. Like I could tell she's really excited. Yarba! <laughs> Aww. That's so cute. They kinda look alike. Maybe because it's like the same hairstyle. Grandma Udius. Perfect zoo. Josephine has learned the following preferences about Olivia. Dislikes the color orange. Hey, what's wrong with the color orange? That's like my second favorite color. The first one is blue. Orange is a pretty good color. I mean, then again, it really depends. So we're talking about like a bright neon orange. A very mild orange. Like... Blood orange, I don't know. I like how Josephine is going to her teddy bear to tell a secret. Dude, how are you going to talk to your bear knowing that you have a guest in the house? Come on, man. Like, she's right here. Talk to this girl, come on. We got a personal goal to do, Josephine. Ew, is she talking about how she peed on her underwear? Damn, that's crazy. Could not be me. Damn, Josephine is wild for doing that. Okay, so I noticed that I'm trying to fill up this bar all the way to the top right here. So let me just do a few more of these things. Make sure that she is just chatting her up and down, man. <laughs> Josephine is dolling out the sass and feels invincible. Would it be safe to say that she likes comedy? 
Yes, she does. Of course she likes comedy. Just because it's a goofball. Not only does she do a lot of jokes and tricks, but she stays telling crazy stories too. Why not? I could imagine Josephine as a comedian at this point when she grows up. See, Josephine is talking so much. Olivia was like, girl, girl, I love listening to you, but I gotta sit down. My feet are tired. Tired as hell. In fact, Josephine, just sit over there, girl. What are you doing standing there talking to her across the living room, bro? Like, sit down. Josephine and Olivia are now partners in crime. They can now plan pranks together and unleash their inner mischief. Oh, man. This is going to be... Oh, yes. Yes, become best friends forever. Finally. I've been waiting for this. Alright, moment of truth. <laughs> Let me see what they're doing. What? Oh, Chase is finally up. He woke up almost noon at this point. What is he making? <laughs> Josephine Payton and Olivia Kim Lewis are becoming best friends forever. Oh, shit! I did it! Well, this one at least. <laughs> wow, this is perfect. I'm so happy for Josephine. And also Chase reached level 3 cooking. Chase learned the recipes for pan-fried tilapia, chocolate chip cookies, and pancakes. He can also talk about cooking with other sims. Okay, so in that case, what is she? She's gonna eat cereal? Yo, I saw vegetables in that refrigerator. And you're gonna tell me that Chase, Chase's slow ass, is not gonna cook for this little kid? Bro, that's crazy. And I like how Olivia's just talking to the bear. This is cool. Alright, so in that case... In that case... I gotta call someone else so I can become good friends with two more people. That way, this goal right here is completed. First of all, clean up after yourself, Josephine. How are you gonna leave the, the dishes on the table of all places? Look, even a dirty cup. I saw that. That's crazy. <laughs> She's so short, she can't even reach the sink. Sounds like me. How is it bedtime? How are you going to go to sleep knowing that you got company in the house? And this guy's sick of his shit. That's cool. Huh? Let me fast forward this. Oh. What is she doing? Did she even sleep? I bet she was playing imaginary stuff. Chase's new skill in mischief will allow him to do trick with hand buzzer and several other mischievous social interactions. As the skill level increases, new mischief interactions will be unlocked. Okay, that's cool. Oh, who's that? Who's knocking on the door? <laughs> Who is that? And he has a soap patch? That is funny. Jeez, you're not... You're not gonna get that, bro? Okay. I like how they're still talking, and they're leaving this guy outside waiting. That's funny. 
All right, so I'm glad you're best friends now, but Josephine, go ask someone to hang out with you. We're gonna go Liberty right here. I feel like Liberty would be a second best choice to try and be friends with. So. Burbell Greaso, Linzo Bull, Shaka Markel for go. Yes, Liberty Lee will be right over. I just love how this little ass kid is friends with so many adults. Yes. And that guy is still there at the door. He's still waiting. Yo, these two people ain't shit. How are you gonna have someone wait at the door for how many minutes? Wait a minute, then again, why is this person waiting dumb long? Like, give up. They're not gonna open the door to you. There you go. Oof. Crazy. Oh, Liberty's here! Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, and with a hug. That's so cute. Open. Yo, why she why she act like that? Oh my god, this is funny. Okay, they clearly have some really good chem chemistry together, which I'm pretty happy about. Josephine has learned the following preferences about Liberty. Dislikes retro music. Okay. I guess not everyone is able to have good taste, but whatever. Liberty just became good friends with Josephine. Oh my goodness, yes! I am so happy. Wait, wait. What happened? I thought she became good friends. An unpleasant conversation? What did I do? No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it unpleasant. Hold on, hold on. Heartfelt compliment. I'm going to brighten your day. Apologize. Boom. This should help. This conversation has become rather unpleasant. Try apologizing or walk away. Come on. Come on, man. I guess I must have said something horrible. Okay, so she's good. I won't pester her any anyway. Let me just fix this. I got it. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Damn. So I said something wrong to her, and she suddenly didn't become my best friend anymore. That's okay, though. I can always fix that. So at this point, let's go to bed. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Let's see if the monster is going to pop out. Oh, the monster! Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, we're not gonna spray. We're not gonna spray. We're not, we're not gonna spray. We're not gonna spray. Let's actually talk to, let's talk to the monster. Let's talk to the monster. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Josephine. Talk to the monster, bro. Yeah, there you go. Talk to the thing, like... Come on, how come I can't click it? Don't be afraid. I can't... Whoa, hold on. Um, talk to monster underneath the bed. Come on, talk to the monster. There you go. Josephine was unsuccessful in her attempt to communicate with the monster under her bed. Looks like it doesn't want to be friends right now. Hey, okay. Okay, first of all, no, we're not gonna spray. We're not gonna spray anything. I'm gonna talk to the monster again. Why is Chase crying? Don't spray that shit. <gasps> Josephine just made friends with the monster under her bed. She can't wait to find out more about it. 
We did it, you guys. We did it. We're now friends with a monster. Holy cow. That's... That's insane. I finally became friends with that monster. Damn, she's gonna eat that big ass plate of mac and cheese. I mean, okay, I guess, but I don't think it's wise to eat and then go to bed, you know? Besides, you have school tomorrow. Well, technically today, since it's 12.52 a.m., but whatever. After you're done eating, go right to bed. That way we have a nice productive school day. Yeah? What the hell are you doing? Alright. First of all, excuse me, go to bed? Shit. School for Josephine starts in about an hour. You didn't even take a shower, bro. Hey, you didn't even put away the mac and cheese. Damn, okay. I'll see you after school then? Yeah? I guess. It's the school spelling bee, and Josephine has made it to the final round. But this time, she's never even heard of the word she's supposed to spell. Glancing around the room, Josephine sees the class brainiac flash her her notebook with a word written neatly on it. Should she accept the help or give it her best guess? I'm going to accept the help. Pretending to concentrate, Josephine closes her eyes and recites the letters from the girl's notebook. It's correct. Josephine is the surprise winner. Um she feels a little guilty, but bask in her five seconds of academic fame. Nice. Good job, Josephine. Josephine is done with school for the day. A B is not a bad grade, but that doesn't mean there is any room for improvement. Come on, man. This is why kids in school feel so pressured and disgusted. Like, at least she's passing. Like, at least she's passing. Hey, Josephine. Welcome home, girl. And you know what? Let's go and call someone. Let me see. Wait, check social media timeline. What's this? Oh, that's for Chase. Lord have mercy. Okay, let me switch to Josephine then. Let's ask... Wait, what the hell? I thought... Oh. Hey, what happened to Liberty? How come she's not in this? Did I lose her as a friend? Dead ass? Yo, I lost her as a friend. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay, well, you know what? Ugh, I guess I'll get Summer to come over. <laughs> All right, so Summer will be right over. And I just, I don't know. It's crazy. I lost Liberty as a friend. I'm sad. What the hell? Why is she so mad about? Why is she angry? Bro, I don't know if it's something that Chase is saying to her, but... There you go. Now she's happy. What's this? Reach Charisma Level 2. Josephine cannot perform Brighton Day on Sims. Oh, let me see. Lumba yo lo. Brighten the day. Okay, okay, never mind, but that's pretty cool of how her and Rona Rona and Summers are getting along pretty well. I can't get over how Liberty is not my friend anymore. Like, what the hell happened? What did I say exactly for her not to want to hang out with me anymore? Like, I'm really depressed. 
free bacchanoosh. Josephine has learned the following oh traits God. about Summer. Outgoing. Of course I'm Summer is outgoing. I'm, I'm not even surprised. Damn, I guess Summer doesn't want to talk to me anymore. She just wants to read. Nothing wrong with that. Wait a minute. I think... Wait, I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. I like how she picked up a book to read from the shelf, right? But left on the floor. Fucking asshole. Anyways, it's time to go to sleep. Because I want to talk to that monster again. Oh, the monster's here! Dude, let's talk to the monster! Yo, the monster's right there! Hold on. Okay, so that's cool how we talk to the monster. Seems like that little guy just wanted to say a quick hello or a good night. Either way, we're slowly getting to know this creature, so... I say it's progress, nonetheless. Yo, the monster's here again! Yo. Yo, wake up! Talk to the monster. Wake up, Josephine! Wake up! Girl, wake up! The monster's right there! Yeah, talk to it. That monster was right underneath the bed, bro. Nothing? Alright, I guess... I guess I'll go back to bed now. Another day going to school. And this time, well, Missy's going to have herself a nice peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So last night, the monster popped out of the bed twice. So it's definitely interested in communicating with me. That's for sure. And I see that Cheese has passed out on the couch from all of the excitement from last night with the monster. And I feel like tonight... I'll be able to accomplish this goal of talking to the monster, so. Alright, so after you're done cleaning, you can leave to go to school. And then we should be able to call Liberty up. I guess she, I guess I still have her as a friend, because she showed up right here. So maybe she wasn't available that specific day, but that's cool. Grades are up. Josephine has been working hard, and she is now a grade school A student? Oh, oh my god, I'm so happy! Bro, Josephine, I am so proud of you, honey. Like, I know, I know it's not easy to get an A, but I appreciate your hard work, and you definitely deserve as much um, ham and cheese sandwiches as possible. And after you're done eating, let's go and ask Liberty to hang out so we can become good friends, you know? Oh, there you go. There's Liberty. She's coming over. And you better behave. I don't want no bullshit. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Damn. It's actually getting a little bit hard for me to become good friends with Liberty. But I'm still going to try nonetheless because I know for a fact once I complete these two goals, then I'm going to have a nice little birthday party and I'll become a teen. The monster did not come out of the bed. Which sucks, but you know what? It's time for me to get ready for school, I guess. Chaos rules. Chase seems to thrive on the shock and rage of others. Is it time to admit that he likes mischief? Yes, because he's an asshole. 
Should Josephine invite over classmate Olivia? Yeah, why not? What? It appears as if Josephine is having problems with the alphabet. She can't seem to get past A. Kudos. Oh, that's not good. That means she needs to practice even more. Look at her and her partner in crime. How are you going to knock on the door when the door is not even closed? Olivia's a goofball. What are you talking about, Josephine? This bear is just enjoying Josephine's presence. And I see here that there is some good food so I'm gonna grab a serving actually of some what is this eggs and toast girl you better eat you better eat that shit you need it damn that looks so good too like the details of the egg and the toast Josephine is hella happy look at her smiling she's like finally some good food Aw, look at that. <laughs> the two kids. Shalboda Brogi. Nuloy, huh? Yo, Josephine's even smelling the food too. That is so hilarious. I feel like Chase could be like the older brother or older cousin that had to adopt his family relative because her parents are no longer in the picture. That would be the official background of these two adults. No, not adults. This adult. Why is she standing around like that? Like, bro. Okay, so not only do I have Olivia over, I also have Liberty. My goodness, we're gonna have so much fun. Chase is like, where am I supposed to sit, y'all? Like, one of y'all need to scoot over. Oh, look at Olivia giving Chase a seat. She's so nice. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Okay, Olivia. See you later. I have Liberty Lee to try and be friends with. Like, she's getting a little bit hard to become best buddies. Like, this is a lot of work. You see, Liberty, every time you come over, you stay trying to read books, bro. Like, come on. Let me try and become your your friend. Like, I'm trying to become good friends with you, bro. And you're over here, always in the corner, putting your nose into these books. Like, come on. Oh, go to the bathroom, hon. Why would you... Why would you sleep? Go to the bathroom. Okay, so I guess I guess she had to go to sleep since, you know, it is a school night and it is ten o'clock, so let's and Liberty is still here. I love how Liberty is still in the house, knowing that me and Chase or, you know, Chase and I if you wanna be, you know, correct. Chase and I are still asleep. Liberty, go the fuck home. Send home. Go home. Bye. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Anyways, we're not going to watch TV. Cut it out. You're going to sleep because you got a school day. Go back to bed. Thank you. I don't mean. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.